In case you did not know, Justin Fields and DJ Moore are on pace to absolutely smash some Chicago Bears records. So let's talk about it, people. What is going on, y'all? Fox Sports Talk back at it with another video talking. Of course, some NFL here to talk about the Chicago Bears. So if you're a Bears fan, please hit that subscribe button down below. Please make sure you are following me on all my social media platforms, guys. As always, hit the bell icon so you're notified every time I drop a new video. All right, so as I mentioned... DJ Moore and Justin Fields, man, they're going to break some records this year if they stay healthy throughout all 17 games, knock on wood. And I firmly believe that. Let's run through the numbers here. So Justin Fields, we know he's been on fire the last two games, and he's put up some monster numbers, right? Back-to-back -back games of four-plus passing touchdowns, almost had 300 yards in both games. And then DJ Moore, just absolutely ridiculous, 230 receiving yards last game with three touchdowns. My God. So we'll start with Justin Fields first. So Justin Fields... He's on pace at the current 17-game pace to throw 3,880 passing yards, 37, that's right, 37 passing touchdowns, and 17 interceptions. Now, obviously, the interceptions are a lot, and you want those to come down, and I really do think they will. But, man, those passing numbers and those passing yardage, that feels great, okay? Now, I'm sure you're curious, what is the Bears' record uh, because they've never had a 4,000 yard passing, uh, 4,000 passing yard uh, individual in history. The record is Eric Kramer back in 1995, so it has been quite a while, who threw 3,838 yards. So 38, 38, and also passing touchdowns, the record is 29. Folks, I got to be honest with you, that's not a lot in today's modern day NFL. So even just saying that Justin Fields is going to beat these numbers is not that big of a deal, honestly, because the number is not is pretty low. Like we've seen, you know, guys throw for 50 touchdowns, right? Brady, Mahomes, Peyton Manning. Obviously, we don't have any of those guys. But my point is like 29 touchdowns compared to like 50. Like it's insane. So Justin Fields, again, is on pace to get 37 touchdowns. And he only needs to get 30 to get the record. And then the passing yard, he's right there, right? He's at 3880, and the record is 3838. Now, I firmly believe that Justin Fields can get 4,000 passing yards if he keeps this up. And that's been, to me, the best part about sort of the, the progression in the last two games is the passing has been the key. It's not the rushing, it's the passing. He is quarterbacking from the pocket. That's what you love to see here. So you ask me, hey, Fives, do you think Justin Fields will break the record this season? I do. If he's healthy for all 17 games, and that's a big caveat because health is the most important thing, I believe he breaks the record. And I think he gets 4,000 yards, and I think he gets probably 30 to 35 touchdowns. I firmly believe that. And I think, you know, the, the offensive line just playing well, him having his finally number one receiver, just the offense clicking, maybe this is the confidence boost he needed. I think he does it. And again, it's not that big of a deal in the sense of the number isn't that hard to hit. Right, Our record isn't 50 touchdowns. It's 30. It's 29, really, but it's 30 to beat it. So, yes, I firmly believe Justin Fields does it. Now, let's talk about DJ Moore. He is on pace right now for 1,800 receiving yards. 1,815, the exact number, 91 catches, and 17 touchdowns. Yes, that's right. Count him up. 17 touchdowns. The record by Chicago Bears receiver is back in 2012. So not that long ago, but back in 2012 by Brandon Marshall, one of my favorite Bears receivers, uh, arguably the best Bears receiver. He put up 1,500 yards, 1,508 to be exact, back in 2012. And he had, I believe, um, what is it, uh, 13, excuse me, no, 1,508 uh, is the record. And so DJ Moore, again, on pace to surpass that as at 18-15. And then we're talking 17 touchdowns, receiving touchdowns. The record is 13. This is from back in 1970 and 1947. They're tied Dick Gordon and Ken Cavanaugh. Let me repeat that. 1917, 1947, that is when the record was set for 13 receiving touchdowns. I believe DJ Moore blows both of these out the water. Justin Fields has his guy. This is, this is the guy, man. This is the A.J. Brown. This is the Diggs. This is the Tyreek Hill. To those quarterbacks like DJ Moore is for Justin Fields. He is that special. The, the yards after the catch are ridiculous. And the best part about this is, the best part about DJ Moore is he allows Justin Fields to have a guy who he can throw to even when he's not open. 
One of the biggest issues with Justin Fields so far in his career is that he usually doesn't throw in the tight windows as much as you'd like him to, and he waits for guys to get open. Well, in the NFL, you like to throw guys open or guys aren't going to be able to separate as well because the athletes are just so good. DJ Moore, even when he's covered, he's open, if that makes sense, right? Like you just give him an opportunity to make a play on the ball and he'll do it. And so Justin Fields trusts him and he's done it so far. So he's going to continue to do that. So yeah, I think he blows it. 91 receptions is not the record. I think Brandon Marshall has it um, on that one, but certainly DJ Moore with the receiving yards and the touchdowns, I think he does it. So folks, I think the passing game is getting unlocked here. And I think we are on pace to see what these two guys can do, but I think it'll be special. I really, really think it'll be special. And the schedule is not that daunting. You're not playing the 49ers or the, you know, the Cowboys or the Eagles every week. You've got some pretty weak defenses here coming up in the Vikings, the Raiders, the Chargers. So let's take advantage of it. Let's hope Justin Fields and DJ Moore put up some monster numbers and continue doing so. And uh, let's w w make, let's watch them, you know, break these records and work their magic. So I can't wait to see. Let me know what you guys think. Do you think they break the records? I do. I think they break all of the records that I mentioned here. Let me know your thoughts down below as always. Thanks for watching.